a cute and scary unicorn cake. That's right, today we are creating one of the most infamous toys of the 21st century. Is that a true statement? It could be. I really do like the way that this cake turned out, even if my work is pretty shoddy. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Meredith Palmer. Let's get started. Now before we get started, make sure you hit that like button as well as the notification bell so you can see all of my videos as soon as they go up. Now to create Lorenzo, that's the name I'm giving him, we're going to start with my PVC cake stand. And one thing you're going to notice is that I'm not using a cake board. I was spending too much money, a dollar something, on each cake board. So I went to Michael's and I bought this, which is supposed to be for plaques. It's a wooden plaque thing. I cut a hole in it the same way they do with all of my cake boards. And then I painted it white so that I can reuse it and not have to keep buying cake boards. It's expensive. This is saving me a lot of money. <laughs> so I plunged a PVC pipe in the middle and to create the body, I am using two four inch dome cakes. So we got some buttercream, then a little bit of support with cardboard and some pipe couplers to add on some dome cakes to create the head of Lorenzo. I like the name Lorenzo. I've met two people. One of them I didn't like and his name was Lorenzo. Another one, hey, that guy was a homie. I thought that would be perfect for this cake because we're doing two interpretations of this unicorn. You guys know this toy, right? Everyone's seen it. There's a whole bunch of parents scaring their kids. Now the reason I'm not gonna talk to you guys about <laughs> carving the body is because I carved it way too thin. I could have just left the two dome cakes to create the body. The toy has a very plump, very rounded body and I carved away too much so now it looks like my unicorn starving. So don't do that. Leave the dome cakes and they're fine. Now I gave my cake a crumb coat and then covered it with the first piece of fondant. I hate covering dome cakes with fondant. It is the worst, the worst thing in the world ever to cover it with one piece of fondant. And there ended up being two seams on the side because I just didn't know how to deal with it. There's too much fondant on the bottom and it started to uh, bunch together. It was terrible and this was the only solution. And that's why my work on this cake is so shoddy because I can't get over the fact that there's two seams on the side and no way to cover it. Now I covered the bottom of the cake with some white fondant as well. And to create each of my unicorn's legs, I'm using Twinkies because that's what I always do. If you've seen any of my other animal cakes, I use Twinkies to save time. And for the most part, they work. Not today though. <laughs> I should have just used fondant. Instead of covering it with buttercream, I'm covering each of my Twinkies with fondant. It's not perfect. <laughs> the buttercream hides the flaws, the fondant not so much. Now Lorenzo needs six legs. He needs four, two for the front, two for the back, and then two for the sides. So that when you see it from the front and the back, it looks like two back legs. Now if you want to see more of my cute and scary cakes, I've got an entire playlist for you. There's a ton of stuff coming out too. And some of it hasn't even been released yet. So subscribe, because you're going to see it sooner than later. Then I started to create his eyes. This is pretty fun. They're just black eyes and I'm just trying to recreate the magic from the toy. So we've got this very meek, very cute and sad looking unicorn on the front. His mouth is closed. He's got this very somber smile. <laughs> it's, it's really sad cute, right? It's kind of like an Eeyore deal. Eeyore's cute. He's not having a good day every day. I'm giving him a whole bunch of fondant details, two fondant ears and the unicorn horn. Look at that horn. I think my horn looks better than the one that's on the toy, if I can speak honestly. We've got a little bit of hair and then I started to add the same details on the other side of the cake. Now I'm adding all of the details to his mouth, so I'm using a longer piece of fondant to create the lower part of his mouth. That way I can add in the inside. 
I had to add some gums, a little bit of dark red to emulate the inside of his mouth, and then I had to give him some really spiky teeth. That was my favorite part, adding all of the scary unicorn teeth. They were really spiky. I think these are the sharpest scary teeth I've created so far. I'm adding a gum line. Now, all of the features on the scary side of the unicorn are the same. Even the eyes are the same, I just inverted them. So the right eye is on the left and the left eye is on the right, which makes it look like it's angry. Look how angry that looks. <laughs> if he wasn't so like skinny and starving, it would ex look exactly like the toy, wouldn't it? For Lorenzo's cute side, I'm giving him some very nice, very beautiful... Oh, where are my color cards? Oh, I lost the other ones. So I went to Dunn Edwards and got a whole bunch of new ones. His eyes are really deep, very blue. So it's like a pool party blue. Oh, I like that. I haven't been to a pool party. I got a lot of fat shame. I don't like to take off my shirt in public places. I'm trying to get over it, you guys. I know, but still holding me back. So I'm painting some blue around his eyes and just making sure that I leave the pupil black. And a little bit of the rim of the outside of the eye is black as well. Now on the scary side, his eyes would be blue, but because I get to decide on both sides, I decided to make it look a little bit more evil and paint them red. I'm even adding a little bit more detail to make it look like he's insanely angry. Um, that's why we got all of these red veins coming out. Doesn't that look bone? Now I gave his eyes a little bit of shine, and you know what? I wanted him to look like he just ate somebody, so I'm painting a little bit of blood on his teeth. Now I wasn't happy with the way that the light was catching his eyes, so I'm adding some fake catch lights as well with some white food coloring. And voila, my cute and scary unicorn was complete. Am I happy with this? Yup, yup, I am. You guys have seen my work. And you know when I'm phoning it in. <laughs> I like doing this, but I screwed up the schedule. I thought that Frozen 2 came out on the 12th, and so I was rushing through this cake so I could start on all of the Frozen stuff that I wanted to do. Because after that, it's like Christmas stuff nonstop. Even though you probably didn't notice, I will tell you that I should have ensured that the faces were directly back to back, and I didn't. Which is why you can see the back horn from the front of the unicorn. Also, my fondant isn't that smooth, and the eyes and the mouth are not <laughs> centered. Which is why the cheeks look lopsided a little bit. I'm telling you this because I want you to know that you know, sometimes you have a bad day, sometimes you're not 100%, and that's totally fine. But I'm posting this because I still think it's a great cake idea. And I'm sure that there's a lot of cake decorators that get this request and have no idea how to execute it. Here you go. I'm here for you, homie. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope this was helpful. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!